Okay, so I'm presenting another video tutorial today because in class today, one of the questions that came up was, what technique can we use to actually take red out of somebody's face? Well, there's lots of different ways. One way is that you could paint with a color mode um, from a color that you've picked that's a good part of the skin. Um, there are many different ways. That's one of the most common ones. I've, I'm going to present one that's a little more complicated and I learned from a man named Lee Varis from a book called Skin. It's in chapter 4 if you're looking for it. Uh, what you do, and this is non-destructive by the way, what you do is you create a new adjustment layer and the adjustment layer that you're going to create is a hue saturation layer. You get that layer up onto your screen and what you do is you change your edit layer to the reds. Now the eyedropper tool is already picked and now what you want to do is you want to come in to a part of the screen that is very red, the color that you want to take out. And it's usually found right in the ear. Yeah, that looks pretty red. Then take a color after you've picked the subtract from the sample and find a color of the skin that's not red, that's actually pretty good. And I can see that right up here. That's a pretty good color. Then what we do is we grab the hue saturation and we pull it all the way down. Then on, we come down to the bottom here. We grab the right arrow and we pull back. And we pull back until, now you can see in her face, she's got redness all in her cheeks and on her chin, a little bit in her neck. This is the red that we're going to pull out. So now by moving that down, it's only going to focus on those reds. Now yes, I know it's pulling out red from the background. I'm, all, I'm really interested in the red that it pulled out from her face. So at this point we can hit OK. Well this is set up on a mask so what we can do is we can zoom in so I'll just bump in here we can zoom in and I think that's good enough we'll zoom in and on this mask grab the brush tool and that's too big of a brush so we'll decrease our brush how big is that? Make that a little bit bigger Okay, even a little bit bigger than that. Okay, I'm good with that. So I'll just click here, click off there. And now I've got the opacity. I'm just going to bring that to 100%. Now notice, we bring the saturation back into our lips. And at the same time, so it's taking out the reds in a lot of areas. Um, what we could do is we could allow, if we just say fill, edit, fill with the foreground color, so I'll hit OK. Fills it completely with black. Now this is what our original image looks like, so I'll change the color that we're going to paint with to white, and then I can selectively pull out the color, or sorry, the mask in the areas that I want to get rid of the red. And you can see in the cheeks we're just taking out the red, taking it out along the whole cheek line, and we've got our opacity set to 100%, so it's taking it out in one pass. We're also leaving the red that's found within her lips by not touching that at all. So that's just black. And the reason that I would do this is I'm working on an area that's less than 20% of the whole image. If I was working on an area that was more than 80% of the whole image, I would start with filling it with white and then taking out the areas that I, I wanted um, exposed uh, in that method. But here, because I'm only wanting to mask a small portion of the screen, I could just say, you know what, leave the mask over the whole thing, over this whole layer, it doesn't exist. And now what we could do is we could look at the before and the after. And it's subtle, but it's there.